Hey drumming friends, how's it going? I'm Jay Sennett. I want to talk a bit about the brushes in jazz at fast tempos. And most of us that play jazz are very familiar with the classic dotted eighth note cymbal beat. But with, with the brushes, we're usually playing that on our snare drum. various tempos, mid-tempo, a little faster, but in jazz at some point you're going to be asked to play really fast and I'm talking about maybe over 300 BPMs with the brushes at times and to play that dotted eighth note pattern at that tempo and being able to sustain it you know it puts a lot of stress on your fingers and wrists you know I mean if you're looking at a faster tempo right trying to sustain that at least for me you know I can't play it that fast and sustain it so I sought out easier ways to play it technically in my execution but have the same effect um, and I learned this way to do it, and it has, to verbalize it, it has a giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up kind of feel and sound to it. And the way it works is two beats with the right hand, and then one with the left hand, the third beat with the left hand. maintain some sort of sweeping motion in that left hand. And it's so much easier on your right hand. Now, the other little interesting layer and, and still within the tradition is putting the hi-hat on the two and four while you're doing that. Um, and you want to make sure your alignment is cool and you maintain that two and four polish and you don't turn the beat around. One, two. You can get the same effect doing it that way. takes away a lot of that stress off your, you know, your right lead hand, or if it's your left lead hand, uh, and you get the same effect. And you can, you know, if you practice it and become a little bit more creative with your left hand, you can still maintain some level of sweeping quality in that, in that groove.
works, you know, you can still get the same effect. And I can do it all day that way, but trying to play it da 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 at really fast tempos. Can't do that, can't play it that fast. Um, so, you know, you play jazz and you want to play these fast tempos, it's a great way to practice. Again, two with the right lead and the third beat on the left hand. And practice it enough, you really get good. You can do all kind of little nice variations, sweeping motions, and get really, really good at it. But um, it's my little uh, exercise for today and showing you uh, the way I use uh, brushes at fast tempos in jazz. I'm Jay Sennett. Thanks so much for watching.